Welcome everybody, this is First Miles Can I Recycle That? It's uh, Wednesday at noon and great to have everybody here. Um, today we are doing a Recycling Symbols and Labels special um, and I am your host, Bruce Bratley, CEO and founder of First Mile. First Mile is a recycling business based in London in the UK. We do commercial waste collections normally um, uh, in uh, London and Birmingham and across uh, the UK. Um, but funny old times at the moment in lockdown and we are doing a huge amount of uh, household waste recycling. So this um, Can I Recycle That Live special is all around helping you to understand recycling labels and symbols on packaging. And we've got a great interactive session today. I have loads of examples of the good, bad and ugly of recycling symbols. Before we get started, I just want to make a quick plug. Um, if you are at home and you need um, help with your home recycling, garden waste, um, eco cleaning products, and we're even now delivering sustainable fruit and veg, please go to our shop, our website, shop.thefirstmile.co.uk. That's shop.thefirstmile.co.uk. We can help you with your recycling at home and feed you and your family and get all of your packaging recycled. So let's get into recycling um, symbols and questions. I'm uh, waiting for your questions coming in. If you have any questions or if you want to post a symbol, let me know and we can help you out with it. But there is mass confusion with recycling symbols. So I'm really looking forward to this session. And we're going to go... Um, Luckily, I'm going to disappear and we are going to switch the camera to have a look at our first recycling symbol. So this one here, excuse the wiggling around, is called the Mobius Loop. And everybody will have seen this symbol uh, millions of times before. And um, just come back to me again. The symbol there, the three triangles going in a circle, it's on everything. What does it mean? It doesn't really mean anything. It was first used in the 1970s on some cardboard packaging to indicate that the cardboard was recyclable or we should recycle, but it's put on everything. It's ubiquitous. It doesn't actually mean anything. It could mean that the material can be recycled. It could mean it's got recycled content in it. It could mean that it's recyclable. It doesn't really mean anything. Manufacturers are very good at putting it on something to try and increase their green credentials means nothing um, other than something vaguely to do with recycling. But sadly, there are more symbols like that which don't actually define and determine the components of the packaging and how it can be recycled, whether it has been recycled before. I have got some good um, examples and I've got some bad examples, so quite fun. Another symbol um, that means nothing is this one. Um, excuse me, which is called the green dot. It's not always green. It can sometimes just be black and white or shades of gray. Um, uh, this you will see on lots of packaging. Um, and again, that means nothing in terms of whether the packaging has been recycled, can be recycled, or any level of recycled content or recyclability it means nothing. All it means, it's a German scheme and it means that um, the manufacturer has contributed to a German recycling scheme. And in law in Germany, if you sell products into Germany, you need to put the green dot onto the piece of packaging. It's effectively like a, a stamp to say, we've contributed to a recycling scheme. It means nothing about whether the product can or can't be recycled. So it's very confusing and shouldn't really be on UK products, but manufacturers are European wide, so they'll put it on products everywhere. So again, it doesn't mean anything. And there's a few more of these um, symbols um, that you may see, see that are um, just to say that, that uh, companies have contributed. Um, this is the um, uh, French version of it. It's called the Triman, um, very um, sexist symbol there as well. Um, but it's a person and that's the French symbol to say that um, a financial contribution has been made to a scheme. This is another one here, Resi, um, which is a cardboard recycling scheme, again in Germany, um, and again does not say anything about the recyclability of the product. It's just purely a stamp to say we have made a financial contribution. So um, uh, pretty confusing, um, but those are those symbols. Now going back up to 
um, the uh, Mobius loop, the three triangle, the triangle, the three arrows in a triangle. Um, this is a version of it which does start to tell us something about whether or not something can be recycled or how it might be recycled. So um, this triangle with a number in the middle and then three letters at the bottom, in this instance PET, um, is um, a set of symboling used and adopted by plastics manufacturers. And it again doesn't say if there's a recycled content, but what it does say is that this polymer or plastic is num type number one, which is PET, um, and it's recyclable. Um, so it doesn't tell you where to take it to recycle, but it is a step in the right direction. So if you see a little triangle with a number in the middle with PET, it will always be on a plastic product. It might be on the label, or quite often it's just stamped into the uh, plastic mold underneath. There are seven labels, um, one, two, three, through to seven, um, with different polymer types. If we get time at the end, I'm gonna come back and describe some of the polymer types, and we've done a really nice infographic on our website to help you recycle. Um, but as with all these things, we get to a good point. We have one through six of the recycling labels, but then number seven is classified as other. And it can mean any type of polymer or plastic of which there are hundreds. Um, so if it says other um, on it, or number seven, um, good luck finding somewhere to recycle. And if there's no further information um, on the label, it would be quite quite difficult to uh, find a way of recycling that. Um, so that's sort of some of the things that you'll see on a very common basis. Um, I'm now going to go to another um, non-recycling symbol here. So just uh, bear with me one second. And this one you will know and seen a lot of, which is the um, throw it in the bin symbol. And again, this is uh, uh, not very gender neutral. This is called the um, Tidy Man of Britain, and this is from an organisation called Keep Britain Tidy. This has been around for a long time, and it is to encourage people to, um, you wouldn't think it's uh, necessary in this day and age, but it's to encourage people to dispose of um, their litter responsibly and not throw it on the uh, side of the pavement or on the side of the road. It does not mean the material is recyclable. And quite often you'll see this symbol next to a recycling symbol and you're quite confused because on the one hand you've been told to recycle it and the other hand you've been told to throw it in the bin and dispose of it um, responsibly. And we'll see some examples of that in a second. Um, and um, I'm just going to whiz through a few more non-recycling symbols before we get onto the uh, recycling symbols. Um, this is a good one. Um, this means, you'll see this if you look carefully on any electronics products or batteries, and it's saying, recycle as a separate stream. Don't throw it in your general waste or your recycling, because if it's waste electronics, it needs to go into a specific, or batteries, it needs to go into a specific recycling stream. Again, you can contact First Mile if you want a Wii collection. We've got a free post service for mobile phones, or you can contact us for a small waste electronics collection, or you can take it to your council site when it's um, reopened. But that just says it contains hazardous material. Don't throw it in with your regular recycling or your general waste. Um, this is another symbol you'll see quite often on paper and cardboard, and we'll have a look in a second at a few. That is just to say that the paper or cardboard is from sustainable forestry. It again, doesn't say anything about recyclability, but it's often used in conjunction. Um, uh, and um, we that's the non-recycling symbols. Um, you get me back in a second now. So that's where we're on sort of the overview of what, what uh, symbols look like and um, uh, what they generally mean. Um, there's a couple of new ones now before we look at some examples um, and these two here are interesting because they relate to um, compostable packaging and there's two types of compostable packaging. One is um, you can compost it at home um, and another type of compostable packaging you can put in with your food waste um, or it requires an industrial uh, process to compost the material and those two symbols are coming up now. 
Um, so this symbol here, which looks like a curly leaf, if you see that on packaging, it means that it's made out of bioplastics or uh, cardboard or other material, but it must go to an industrial composting facility. And you'd need to check with your local council if they can accept materials that need industrial composting. Um, and it's quite a narrow specification of what's required there. So I'd check carefully if you see this. The other composting symbol is the one at the bottom here, and it says on there, home OK compost. And that means that you can compost it at home with your regular composting and it will break down in a more easy way. So those are the two composting symbols to look out for. So let's have a look at some uh, good examples and bad examples. And I'm going to go straight to um, this bottle of method detergent here, which we may or may not be able to uh, do this um, on live. Um, so we go to, um, and now I can't find which side of the packaging on it is here. So um, on this method uh, product here, um, we have the green dot, which isn't very helpful because it's nothing to do with the UK or recyclability. But helpfully, um, this company have realized that we can all read um, and they've put on here some very helpful information, which is nothing to do with a label or a symbol, which says this bottle is made of 100% recycled plastic and is easily recyclable. That's sort of all we need to know. It would be helpful to know what it was made out of, um, which is probably um, on the bottom. I won't try and show you in there, but it's probably uh, PET in that case. So well done method. That is a good example. Um, we're now going to go to not such a good example and there's a deodorant uh, stick here that I found which again we have the green dot there we've also got this uh, open jar which says it's good for 36 months after it's been opened got the green dot there we've got absolutely no more recycling information on there whatsoever we've got tons of stuff about Colgate palm olive um, we have information in different languages, but nothing at all on recycling. And I've checked very closely. Um, there's no triangle on the bottom to say what the, it's a, there's a 42. I have no idea what that means. I think this is probably made from polypropylene or HDPE, both of which are very recyclable, but there's zero information on that. And the cosmetics uh, companies need to sort of get their act together. Um, Another example here is some shampoo. Um, again, we've got these two symbols, the green dot, nothing to do with recycling in London, um, uh, in the UK, and we've got the um, best before date there. But again, no information at all. There's loads of information around how good their product is and all the ingredients, but nothing on the recyclability of it. And this, however, I know is there's a little triangle under there, HDPE number two super recyclable easy to recycle you can recycle it anywhere in the uk it doesn't say so on the bottle very frustrating um we're now going to go to um can of uh, lemonade um and much better slightly confusing because we've got the uh throw it in a bin person next to the recycling but at least under the recycling symbol it says Aluminium can and it can be recycled and there's the AL symbol there to say it's aluminium. So you know that's an aluminium can. So getting better. Um, we then have quite a fun one. This is my Easter egg uh, wrapper from a few weeks ago. Um, and they've made fun, but actually they've put some useful information on here. Unfortunately, we've got the green dot again down here, but we've got some nice information here, which is um, be a good ed card can be widely recycled and foil widely recycled and there's a trend here manufacturers have realized that actually we can read therefore they can give us some information which is helpful for recycling i'm now going to wrap up um and i've not seen any um questions coming in at the moment so um you must all be finding this super informative and I am answering all your questions as you go along. But this is a big well done to tea pigs. Um, uh, they nearly got 10 out of 10. Um, and they've done a lovely panel here on the side of this box of tea pigs, which has um, got all the information you need to know 
about their tea bags, tea temples as they call them. Um, and they're talking about where the materials come from, that it can be recycled, they've signed it to this plastic free initiative. All looks really, really good. But unfortunately, the inner bag section, if you focus on that, um, they've said it looks like plastic, but it's made from wood pulp, so it's a uh, bioplastic. Pop it into council food waste collection or home compost. I do not believe that this material can be home composted. There's no logo on the bag to say um, whether it's uh, what type of plastic it is, but from experience, I would say this plastic bag in here, which is like a classic plastic bag, you would really struggle to compost that at home. So tea pigs, you almost made it, but not quite. You didn't get past my um, uh, very uh, serious uh, symbol uh, scrutiny. So well done. I hope that's been helpful. You've been listening to Can I Recycle That? We'll uh, publish this on uh, IGTV, Instagram television, uh, share with your friends. Um, send me any questions you've got on symbols. I'm on uh, the First Mile channels. You can ask through there or you can follow me, ask questions. We love to debunk recycling myths and help you recycle more at home and at work. This is First Mile. I'm Bruce Bratley, CEO and founder um, of First Mile. And you've been listening to Can I Recycle That? See you next week.